personally so this wooden frame we need to adjust the value to 0 0 we can't make both the angles exactly at 0 0 since there will be a manufacturing error of this instrument we can consider at least one side should coincidence exactly 0 ok I am considering this end is exactly 0 why we are adjusting okay, so parallel? this should be in uh, parallel to this scale right mm -hmm. why we are adjusting this compass needle parallel to this wooden frame use an external magnetic field on this experiment we are going to use two permanent bar magnets right in any experiment if you are going to do with the help of a magnetic field that instrument should be free from the at the horizontal magnetic field natural magnet that at the magnetic field will affect this experiment and we will not get the exact value yeah. to minimize the effect of the at the magnetic field on this experiment we are placing this instrument or this equipment free from the at the magnetic field now this instrument is exactly horizontal to the at the magnetic field that means parallel to the at the magnetic field okay this entire instrument now it is under entirely at the magnetic field according to the at the magnetic field at the magnetic okay. field okay so that effect of the at the magnetic field will be minimum on this experiment we can't make it zero zero we yeah. can't able to make it zero it can be minimum okay after that remove this one the position of this instrument it should be constant throughout this experiment if yeah. it is disturbed you need to readjust again and again with the help of this compass box okay after that place the CRT in the middle of this wooden frame without disturbing the position now you need to identify the where the electron is on that scale ok x axis or y axis where it is on the scale somewhere at 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 give some value to voltage uh, okay, so the voltage should remain zero while zero. we are uh, uh, experimenting and uh, we will never get this point on zero. It may ch change, it may vary from position to position. If you keep this instrument there, you may get another initial position like 0 0.1 centimeter or 0 0.3 centimeter. It will be depends upon the place because from there, atmatic will be, will be different. From here, atmatic will, will be different. Based on that at the magnetic field, that initial position will be changes. Okay. And so if you observe the tabular form, observation table, initial field. this is constant throughout the experiment because this position of this instrument is constant. It will not change, right? Until unless the position of this wooden frame changes, the position also constant, 0 0.2 centimeter. Now we are going to take the observations readings based upon the final position fourth column is final position right we are going to assume different different final positions depending upon our wish okay you can choose any value greater than the initial position initial position is 0 0.2 centimeter right the final position should be greater than the initial position to the range is 3 centimeter okay for the first observation i am going to consider final position as 0 0.8 centimeters mm -hmm. and to move that electron from initial position to that final position whatever the final position i have considered 0 0.8 centimeter. I will take the help of the voltage. Okay, initially we are going to do it in positive direction. Now we will apply this voltage. Apply. Stop, stop. Little bit down. That is 7 volts to move that electron to up to 0 0.8 centimeter. That will be the applied voltage. 9.8. Okay. And deflection. So the deflection is? Difference of the final position to initial position. How much distance that electron is covered? Okay. Okay. Now, sir, initial position. Okay. I am going to apply an external magnetic field to that electron's part to bring back to its initial position. Mm -hmm. I am going to use the magnetic field to that electron's part to bring back to its initial position 0 0.2 centimeters. Okay. And these are the permanent bar magnets. This no. white spot is always indicates the. This is north pole and this is south pole. Same similar like to this also. This is the white spot erased. This is north pole and this is south pole. We need to keep the opposite poles. If this is the north pole, this magnet should be south. If this is the south pole, this magnet should be north. Okay. And both the magnets should be kept at equal distance. 
and try and get 18 into 18 centimeters. Now you can see that electron is moving upward, it is not coming downward. Mm. Okay, but we want that electron should come downward. Yes. Now you should change the direction of the magnetic field. This will be north pole, and this will be south pole. Now it is in under down, but we don't know where it is. We need to check it. It is at zero. Okay. By varying the distances, you can bring back the electron to initial position. Both should be at equal distance. Is there any relation between electron and magnetic field? Yes. What's it? See, electron has its own magnetic field around it. I mean, uh, it is an electric charge. Mm -hmm. That electric charge gets deflected uh, uh, in the presence of magnetic field. Mm -hmm. See, so uh, the electric charge and magnetic charge both are uh, interrelated. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can create uh, a magnetic field with the electric charge and electric charge with the help of magnet. Okay, Lorentz force. F equals to V cross B bar into Q charge. Okay, Lorentz force. And see, if magnetic field is perpendicular to the electric field, the magnetic field will be generated. Always the magnetic field will be generated perpendicular to the electric field. Okay. And from here to here, one electron is continuously moving. Travel. Electrons are continuously traveling. Okay, then from here to here, then a electric field will be generated because electric field is nothing but moment to remove this C active carefully without disturbing the position and we need to measure the magnetic field. We measure the applied magnetic field with the help of this compass box. How much magnetic field we applied? 60 and 62. Okay, 60 degrees and 62. This will be theta 1 and theta 2 in the second tabular form. Theta 2 degrees. And while measuring these readings, always theta 1, theta 2. Always remember if one, one angle, theta 1 is in even number, theta 2 also even. It should be even. If it is odd, other angle should also odd. Okay, always both the addition of these both angles should be always even number. One angle cannot be 61, other angle cannot be 62. Okay, because it is generally 180 degrees. If it is perfect, it is 180 degrees, right? We need to assume the same values, even, even and odd, odd. Anything will be theta 1, theta 2, not an issue. Either this one, theta 1 or this one. Yeah. After that, removing the magnetic field, half of the experiment is completed. And remove it carefully. Now make yeah. Turn it off the power supply, see. And change the direction from positive to negative. Switch it on, okay. keep it here okay. safely okay. without disturbing the position. The initial position will be same, it will not change. Okay. Every time it will be 0 0.2. It is different. 0 0.3 we got. Oh, applied voltage, right? Applied voltage is 9.8 something we got. Initial position at 0 0.2 centimeter. Final position at 0 0.8 centimeter. And the deflection. It is nothing but the distance covered by this electron, 0 0.6 centimeters. A, B, C, T. This will be 20.5, 20.5. This is in positive direction. In negative direction, now we are not going to consider the final position. We are based on the deflection. In positive direction, the electron covered 0 0.6 centimeter distance from initial position to final position. The same distance it should be covered from the initial position in the negative direction also. Okay, it should travel 0 0.6 centimeter distance in the negative direction from the initial position. So that this is origin 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, negative direction. The electron is always at the initial position. This is initial position, 0 0.2. From here to here, it covers 0 0.6 centimeter distance. It should cover the same distance in the negative direction, 0 0.6 centimeter, so that it can travel 0 0.2 to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. 
so the value here it is 0 0.1 0.2 0 0.4, 0 .4, 0 .4 in negative direction so we should move that electron in the negative direction up to 0 0.4 centimeter in the negative value okay clear we are not going to consider the final position in the negative direction we are going to consider the distance covered by that electron it should be same as same the distance negative covered negative okay so that now we are going to apply the voltage to move the electron spot up to 0 0.4 centimeters in the negative direction okay apply the voltage we will not get the same final position with the same voltage the voltage will be changed you can observe now while applying to move that final okay. position okay it will not same every time stop stop mm, okay little bit uh, apply apply little bit up, up increase the voltage little bit little bit increase and stop 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 mm, stop okay what is the voltage the on the position, based on the different different final position mm. or else you can consider the different different applied voltage based upon the different different voltages also you can take the reading by applying 6 volts to the electron in what is the positive direction 6 volts what will be the final position but sometimes we will not get the exact final position with the applied voltage mm. that's why we are not considering the applied voltage we are based upon the final position we are doing this experiment okay initially we consider this side north pole this side south pole right now we need to change the magnetic direction since we change the direction of the electric field we need to change the direction of the magnetic field also this will be north pole this will be south pole so initially this was uh, the north pole and now we have shifted to south, south pole. pole okay okay 20.5 and 20.5 now we change it to the initial position whatever it is Initial for this one uh, we got 0 0.3 right we change to that one direction this will gives you theta 3 and theta 4 50. okay theta 3 is 50 and theta 4 will be 52 that will be 62 theta 3 is 50 theta 4 is 52 mm -hmm. one complete observation sir more observations for different different final position and we will calculate according to the formulas the process will be the same as same, we did today okay process will be same